he's as much in demand on panel shows as he is in appearances on television. His name, Roger Miller. His story and music are next on Country Music's Star Route. With your host, Rod Cameron. Beach the Collins Kids. Glenn Campbell. The music of Davis and his... The music of Gene Davis and his Star Routers. The Randy Van Horn Star Route Singers. And saluting the career of Roger Miller. Now, here's Rod Cameron. <laughs> Thank you. We have a young man with us this week who is one of country music's most original talents. As a songwriter, many of today's top stars have recorded at least one of his gold records. But he's so downright funny that they finally talked him into bringing his act from backstage out front where people can laugh firsthand. Here he is, Roger Miller, with one of his great tunes in the summertime. <laughs> Sing softly blue Cause she don't want my love Some other time That's what you say When I want you Then you laugh at me And make me cry Cause she don't want my love You don't seem to care A thing about me You'd rather live without me Than to have my arms around you When night's cold And you're so all alone All alone In the summertime When all the trees Leaves are green And the red birds sing softly blue Cause she don't want my love Now once upon a time you used to smile and wave to me And walk with me but now you don't You don't want my love some other guy is taking up all your time. Now you don't have time for me. You don't want my love. You don't say to care a thing about me. Cause well, without me, then to have my arms around you when the night's so cold and you're so all alone. All alone. In the summertime, when all the trees and leaves are green, the red bird sings out the blue. Cause you don't want my love. Up the lion up, go up the Since Roger Miller first started writing songs as an Oklahoma schoolboy, his tunes have always been different and original. For instance, the Collins kids said they had to brush up on their arithmetic to figure that they got two again. In this next song, we need uh, a little help from Gene Davis, if you'll give it to us, Gene. Come on up. Yeah. See, Laura and I are going to make up a song about numbers, and mm -hmm. we need for you to help us out a little bit, all right? I'd be happy to if I can. OK. Uh, could you give me a number between um, 20 and 22? 21. Very good. First time. 21. Well, 21, take away nine. Twelve little children standing in line. From that, take two. That leaves you ten. Take away eight, and you got two again. Well, you got two again. You got two again. You used to love me once, and now you got two again. You got two again, you got two again. You used to love me once and now you got two again. Your turn. Okay, Gene, will you help me out? Come on, yeah, I'd be happy. Let's see, I need you to give me a number between uh, 12 and 14. That's a hard one. 13. Very good. 13. Well, 13. Multiply by one, you still got 13, but wasn't that fun? Now take the same 13, multiply by two. 26 hours, the train's overdue. Well, well you, you got, got two again, again. You, you got, got two again. again. You used to love me once, and now you got two again. You got two again, you got two again. You used to love me once, and now you got two again. Hey, Larry, make up one about 20. 20? 20. 
Well, 20 little kids, divide them by two, 10 in each group. Now, here's what you do. Take 4,000 Prussians, multiply by three, and that makes 12,000 cavities. Well, you got two again, you got two again. You used to brush your teeth, and now you got two again. I'm going to make up one about three now. Three? Three. All right, three. Let's see. Three. You take three TVs, stand them in a line, multiply by three, and that makes nine. You add four more, that makes 13. The white knight comes and zap your clean. Well, you got two again, you got two again. You used to wash your clothes, and now you got two again. Let's make up one together. Together? Yeah, right. I'll start it, OK? Fine. Let's see. One. One. You take one little bottle, about this high, pour it in a glass, and here's mud in your eye. <laughs> but you're right. Uh, well, you take away a fifth, and that leaves a pint. And ho, 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 I'm the jolly green giant. Well, you got two again. You got two again. You used to love me once, and now you got two again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. walk the floor Don't know how I'll stand it anymore Lonely all the time since I lost you Received your invitation to the blue songwriter. As a matter of fact, he wrote all the songs that are on this week's show, and lately he's been coming on strong as a singer. But actually, he got his start in country music around Amarillo, Texas, as a fiddle player. Gene? Yeah, Rod? Do you have any spot in your band for Roger Miller, the fiddle player? I don't know. We could give it a try. Hey, Roger, come on in here, will you, please? Uh, <coughs> well, there's the fiddle. I think there's another part that goes with it. There's supposed to be a bow. 
Is there? Well, you, I don't use a compass. You're not prepared. prepared? I don't know. Wait, just see. Uh, just uh, happened. Right in there where I keep my watermelon. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, uh, this is something I haven't done in quite a while. Either. What kind of fiddle is this? Oh, it's one of them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, shoot. Not much you can say about a fiddle. Not a whole lot, but it's a good fiddle. We're going to try an old train song. This is a song about an old train. We call it an old train song. It's called Orange Blossom Special. You know, we only take it, start the tempo for you. Yeah, why don't you give us the rhythm? Something like. I was in the wrong key, but that's all right. <laughs> always interested in how their favorite performers got started. So how about you? Well, uh, musically, well, see, I got out of the Army and, uh, and oh, five, six or seven years ago and went to the Grand Ole Opry and began as a fiddle player for Cousin Minnie Pearl. And after I lost that job, I uh, was a drummer for Farron Young for a while. I've done everything done. <laughs> yeah, but you've written so many songs, you must have started before that. Well, I guess I was writing them when I was six or seven years old. and. That's the reason I've made such low marks in school, I guess. Well, we used to have his teacher that hit us across the hand with the ruler. I had the highest marks in class. <laughs> well, have you any idea how many you've written? Mm. Five or six hundred, I guess. I understand you're the only country entertainer that ever played the Blue Angel in New York. Is that right? Mm, I don't know. I guess so. 
That's the only ones I can think of. I worked there with Mr. Phyllis Diller and some other people. One of your albums is called Roger and Out, and some of those things you do are way out. And the one that really gets me is The Moon is High and So Am I. How does that go? Well, pretty well. I hope so, boy. <laughs> uh, you, uh, can I do it? Sure. All right. right. Let's see. Let's okay. see if I remember all the words to it and the lyrics and everything. We'll see. Like this? Like you're my girl and everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, the moon is high and so am I. The stars are out and so will I be pretty soon. I can tell you're mad at me. There you stand, telling me goodbye. And I say, no, you can't go. I love you so much, I can't let you get away. But come the dawn, and it will dawn on me. You're gone. Uh-huh, uh -huh. love, don't leave me. Don't leave me laying here. This ground's cold and chilly. Don't leave your charming Billy way out here. You hear? Well, the moon is high, so am I. The stars are out, so I'll be pretty soon. <laughs> but come the dawn, and it will dawn on me. You're gonna do that, that, that. The only thing they always want to know is how you spend your time when you're off. You don't get much time off with all your recordings and everything, but. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, we'd like to take our cameras along and just follow you around for a day and see what you do. Oh, you're perfectly welcome. Come on. Right be on. all right? Great. 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 Our star route cameras found Roger Miller relaxing in his backyard with the greatest of Danes. Trouble is his name. Roger tells us that Trouble is just a growing pup, but from his size, it looks as if he's already gotten just about as big as Roger's own fast-growing career. <laughs> and if he improves on his dancing a bit, maybe Roger can use trouble in his act. Now this was just a little bitty swimming pool when he first moved in, according to Roger. Then with constant watering, it has grown to almost Olympic size. <laughs> His close personal friend and business manager, Lee Hazelwood, joins Roger for a visit and a discussion on the outstanding success of his album, Roger and Out. Among the clever songs in this funny album is Roger's recording of his popular, Dang Me. Well, that's all for Lee. He knows when he's being upstaged. <laughs> Even during an afternoon of home visiting with Lee and his wife, Naomi, the phone doesn't stop ringing for one of country music's finest young talents. This call will send Roger halfway across America for a television appearance. Roger Miller started as a Texas songwriter, moved to Nashville as a guitar player, and now, he lives in the beautiful Toluca Lake area, near Hollywood, where his fresh talent is creating excitement throughout the expanding world of country music. clear back to Will Rogers to find another country entertainer with the same natural, spontaneous humor as Roger Miller. Now, you take a natural talent for songwriting and a fresh style of singing, you've got a young man who's bound to make a bigger mark in the country music field every year. Now, here's a medley of his latest far-out tunes. Roger? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I want to do a thing that I wrote that I kind of like because it's good to me. <laughs> it goes like this, called Dang Me. Month old child, dang me, dang me, they ought to take a rope and hang me. High from the highest tree, woman, but you weak for me. Just 
sat around drinking with the rest of the guys. Six rounds bought and I bought five. Spent the groceries and half the rent for like fourteen dollars seven twenty-seven cents. Well, dang me, dang me, they ought to take a rope and hang me. High from the highest tree. Woman, would you weep for me? One more now. Purple, sugar sweet, and so's maple circle. And I'm the seventh out of seven sons. My pappy was a pistol, I'm a son of a gun. Said, dang me, dang me, they ought to take a rope and hang me. I from the highest tree. Woman, would you weep for me? I have in the business, the oldest friends, and one of the greatest talents that I know, Glenn Campbell. Glenn's gonna sing a song of mine. Oh, if we, if we, we had a short rehearsal, about a minute and a half. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should help you with the first couple of verses. Uh, would you please? I would uh, yeah, I guess I would. You know, you know Can we do Lou's Got the Flu? It, we call it, it's a funny little song I wrote the other day on the way over here called Funny Little Song. I wrote on the way over here the other day. Yeah. <laughs> People good. Yeah. Too bad the bad can't be like the good. But everything changes a little and it should. The good ain't forever and the bad ain't for good. Well, Lou's got the flu, did you lay it up? There you go, almost. Lou's got the flute, he's laid up. Laid up, laid up, laid up, laid up. Laid up. Laid up. Lou's got the flute, he's laid up. Laid up. He's after getting well pretty soon, though. Eat flu. In the papers and I see it on the television. Everybody's scared to death of World War III. Here I am, a single boy, unemployed and everything. Somebody better stop and worry about me. Well, can't you just see me now? Chin up a chest out of hook, two, three, four, all day through. Everybody seems to be worried about something other. Who's gonna worry about Private John Q? But <laughs> When I was a little boy, I used to sit and dream of traveling to lots of foreign countries on sightseeing tours. The way it's looking now, I could stop saving money, maybe go free, sponsored by a third world war. But can't you just see me now, chin up a chest out of hook, two, three, four, all day through. Everybody seems to be worried about something other who's gonna worry about Private John Q. <laughs> Sometimes I get disheartened and try not to even think about it. Heaven knows it's hard to keep from letting get me down. But I'll stand proud when everybody else be a running hell to skelter for the shelter underground. Well, can't you just see me now? Chin up a chest out of hook, two, three, four, all day through. Everybody seems to be worried about something other. Who's gonna worry about Private John Q? <laughs> Dang me, Roger, you sure make the show a lot of fun. Well, thank you, Rod. You Thanks for being with us. Well, that's it for now. See you again next week on another Star Out Salute. Till then, this is Rod Cameron speaking for the whole gang and saying, we hope your lucky star shines on the route you travel. So long. <laughs>
This is Larry Alexander speaking for Star Route. Our show, Country Music's Big Salute to a Gold Record Recording Star, comes to you every week from Hollywood. Star Route is a medallion production.